Hi, I'm Rebecca and today I'll be showing you a card that you can make with the new Clockwork Emporium range. These are the things that you'll need to get started. So I've chosen the time to celebrate luxury topper set with the matching card stock, a piece of gold mirror. Um, as an optional extra, I've used the foiled craft card, um, an adhesive of your choice from foam pads, a 7x7 card blank and some scissors and um, a craft knife as well for fussy cutting if you prefer. Okay, let's get started on this project. So I've got my 7x7 card blank all ready and we're going to get some, we're going to use some gold mirror and make the first mat and layer for this project. So first of all, we want to cut this to the same size as our card blank. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and cut that down to a seven by seven square. Okay, and then I'm going to make the next matte and layer with the foiled craft card. If you wanted to, you can just leave a white edge or do it on a six by six, but I've added this layer for extra effect. Okay. And what we want to do, because I would like both edges, um, but it's much taller than um, two notches under seven, uh, I'm instead gonna sort of cut it to roughly half and then we can have both. So just piecing that there, I'm then just going to pop a little bit of double sided tape on there, just on the edge is fine. Okay, so lined up to where I want it, and then with my other piece of cardstock at the zero, just want to just gently lay it on there. And then it will be the right size, and we'll be able to cover this join up later on in the project. Okay, so we're going to stick this onto my card blank using some double sided tape. Okay, so craft card is completely uncoated, so be really careful when you are peeling off your adhesive. Okay, and then that way we get the um, foiled stamps at both piece edges of the card. Okay, and the next thing we want to do is um, get another piece of gold mirror and do the next layer. Okay, so the next layer that I'd like to do is six and a half. Just so we leave a really nice big edge for the foiled card stock. Okay. And what I'm then going to do is bring in my next layer, um, which is this printed cardstock. So first of all, what I'd like to do is fussy cut this clock detail out on here. So I'm just going to line this up here and pop that onto my trimmer. Push the blade up right to where the detail starts, but not cut that out. And then move my blade to the other side and finish just up to where the clock starts on the other side. Okay. 
I'm then going to take my scissors and fussy cut out this clock detail. This is 300 GSM cardstock, um, so it is very heavy weight, um, so you may prefer to use a craft knife, whatever is preferable for yourself. So I'm just deciding to leave in all of those gorgeous steampunk details such as the dark roses and the cogs and clocks. Okay. <clears throat> Brilliant. And then what we need to do that with that now is trim that to the correct size. So lining that up to just under the six and a half. We're just going to cut that down and then leave that to one side. <clears throat> so we're going to make our next mat and layer and obviously I don't want any that's got the fussy cut edge on so I'm just going to line that up there and use this piece. Um, cutting that detail off as well also allows us to use this border at the top rather than at the bottom. So it's just another different way to use the cardstock. So I'm bringing my elements back in and I'll continue to mat and layer. And then I'm just going to pop that gently on my mirror and pop onto the craft card. And then I'm just going to put that in the middle of my card and neatly hide those joins. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm then going to go in with the topper sheet and select the toppers that I want to use. So I want to use this large one with the glasses from the bottom of the topper sheet. And the uh, Many Thanks Sentiment and also the Border Strip. I'm going to take my scissors to cut that out. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'm just going to sort of make a, a rough mental note of where that lays on the cardstock so that I know exactly where I'd like to put my topper and sentiment. So I'm going to pop my Topper here, and I'm not going to raise this with any foam pads because I'm going to put foam pads on the fussy cut edge. Okay, so I'm just going to use either normal um, tape or I might actually use glue for this one as well. Um, you can use either adhesive, whichever is your favourite. And then I'm 
just going to place that onto the card. And then I'm going to put my topper in the corner. And as that's not really overlapping anything, I'll be able to use a foam pad on that for some dimension. And I'm just going to pop that in the corner on there. I'm then going to use some foam pad strips for this one to get the most amount of coverage. and then some large square ones for the watch detail. So I'm gonna take the backing off of all my foam pads. And just lay that just at the bottom of the design. And then finally, I'm gonna take my border strip and lay that over the bottom of the card. So again, I'm going to um, raise that up even further with foam pads. And I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the excess piece of the border. And then finally, I'm just going to adhere that card to my card blank using some double sided tape. And then we have our finished card for the Clockwork Emporium, Time to Celebrate. <laughs> 